all right hello guys you're welcome back to this class and um today we're going to be doing uh very briefly i'll be showing us what um this what um this um what do we call it we call it dumb dumb okay kind of um thing um really implies okay but let, let's go ahead and create for us to see what i'm talking about let's go ahead and create two script files okay that runs independently so we'll come back here we'll come here okay let's go back up let's go up so here i will do new python file okay let's name it script one script one let's press enter then um let's go and create a second script also python file uh script two script two all right so let's go back to script one of python file now what i'm talking about here is this function this if from uh, if uh statement i will do if underscore underscore name yeah name uh, if it's equal, equal to, you know, double e uh, equation, and we do this underscore, underscore, main, all right, underscore, underscore, sorry, oh no, underscore, underscore, like that, then we now put our full column, like this is what we're going to be talking about, okay, this is what we're going to be talking about, so this actually uh, helps us to know what kind of what part of the code that we are running all right the reason why I, I created two scripts like script one and script two is because i want them to actually run independently okay i want them to run and we'll go ahead and create a running configuration for them for each of them all right so that's what we're going to be doing now moment yeah so that's what we're going to be doing now. So let's, um, but actually we'll be talking about this if statement, this very one. Okay, we've used if statement before. So let's go ahead and check um, what this if actually do, or what it does rather. So like I said, I've mentioned before, this if will help us to know the code that we are running, whether we are running a full code as the main code, okay, or whether we are running uh uh, what do we call it we are picking from part of the code to run all right so but before we go into using or um dip into this very if statement let's go ahead and create running configuration for each of these scripts so what i'm talking about is we'll come here now let's go to script one here like this let's click on script one so we go here and we go to run so under run We'll go to edit configuration okay so under edit configuration we will now click on this plus all right we'll now go to um python click on python like that then it brings us to this page so on this very side this script look at the script we'll go ahead okay before before let's go back again let's check up here we see that uh we we'll see current file okay let's drop it down edit configuration we can actually go through this place to do the same thing okay let's go to this place and do the same thing it's faster let's add uh, configuration so we'll still go to python then under um this very um row the script row we come to this folder um, icon and, and click on it is so, and we'll go ahead to select the script that we're talking about so i'll click on script one that's the one that we're on okay then i'll click okay all right I'll click OK, like click Apply, and OK. All right, you see that we have script one here now. I will run the uh, editor configuration. So we have script one here. We'll do the same thing. We'll click on tap on script script two uh, page, and we'll come here. We'll go to edit, OK, and we we'll still do the same thing. Oh no, that's not it. So here. Yeah. So we locate script two, we'll click on it or select it. We we'll click on OK. We we'll click on apply. Go ahead and do OK. 
So well, each time we click on this, we see script two and script one. Okay. All right. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. Did for script two. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's do that script two right now. So let's tap on script one. I think I know what happened. So let's go back to edit copy operation. So what we'll do instead of just coming here to change, that's what we do. Let we did. Let's go back here and do add. Let's do Python. All right. And let's come here and select script one. That was a mistake we just made, okay? So let's do apply and okay. So if you check here, we have script one, script two, all right? So this is actually script one. All right, so um, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, let me delete this one from the page. So let's go ahead and try and code some two functions. Let's say some, uh, yeah, two functions. The first function is going to be, um uh, let's say a function to to let okay let's define the function def and say um for the name function for best food right and we'll open it so we'll now give the parameter as food and i will come here what do we want to do let's go ahead and do print all right and let's use our F formatting uh, uh, style. Uh, let's go ahead. My best food. Okay, is my best food is. Okay, let's now drop. Go ahead and drop this. My best food is. Let's now do food. Okay. My best food is food. All right. So um. That's our function. All right, so let's come down here and do another function. Um, let's say def. Um, this one should be a main main function. So we'll now go ahead and do. Um, uh, okay, let's go ahead and just do print. All right. Goodbye. Sorry. Goodbye. Now, if I come down here. And do if dumb dumb or if name equal to sorry is equal to main and we'll go and do full column okay then we'll now do uh we'll drop main here this way okay, let's go back up here this is supposed to be two equal to sign I will drop me in here. So let's go ahead and run the code. If you run the code, you say goodbye. This is what you're seeing, right? Okay. So let's come back to this. Um, let's come back to this uh, before the goodbye, okay? And, and call the function for our best food, okay? Function for best food. So let's apply the parameter. Mm, so let's go ahead and say uh sushi sushi or let's just do rice okay let's say rice All right let's say rice now we've called it inside of this one and we want to run uh this code this main function as the main thing that we'll run okay that was what happened the first time that was why you just saw goodbye so since we want to run this function inside of our main code all right okay Function. Oh, sorry. They just a function. Okay. So let's correct it here. Function. Okay. Yeah. Better. So let's go ahead and run this. You see, my best food is rice. Goodbye. So what? 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 Actually happened here now is this is statement at this point. All right. Is actually running the main code. Okay. Now it means this main function. Will be run okay it's gonna be run and that's why you see that when we run and we only have main and we didn't call the other function inside of the main uh goodbye was the only thing that was printed okay or that was outputted so but now that i call the function the other function is function for best food inside of our main all right which is our main function Right, and we, we want to run main here, okay? So that's why you see that we are having this very uh, output right away. So the use of um, 
this actually also is you can actually call a part of this script one <clears throat> and make it to run <clears throat> in script two all right you can call the part of this script one and make it to run in script two which is um uh, that is if you want to if you don't want to call the whole script like if we call uh, script one now everything the whole main is gonna is not going to be run okay we can actually call part of it like we can call the, just the function for best food alone out of this one okay but this main is showing that the main the main thing is going to run this whole this main function okay and uh, anything you include in the main <coughs> actually will be run alongside the main other main uh function uh parameter or attributes okay so let's go to and you see that uh, it's script one that is running so if we go go ahead to this point and uh, actually choose script two all right mind you if we go ahead and run it's going to show empty all right because we don't have anything in script two so let mo let's move over to script two all right and at this point the first thing we should do is let's import okay let's say from from script one import if we say import asterisk, it means we are importing everything there. We want to, if we can choose to use anything from script one. If we have more than one function here, it means we can have, uh, we can actually import more than one um, a function to use. Any function that we need from this very script one, that is, we have multiple functions. We can actually dip our hands into script one to pick any function that we actually want to use. All right, so. And let's say from script one import asterisk so let's enter enter and go down so let's create a, a function here let's say the function is um let's say the function is our best food uh no we had we're having our best food already in script one so now let's do our best drink okay our best drink so I just say dev. Let's define our function dev. Uh, my best drink. All right, as a function. So let's give a parameter as a drink. All right. So let's go down here and, and let's use our f function and say print f into uh, this my best drink is. Then we'll do this and we'll do drink, okay? That's calling the parameter into the code. So let's come down here and do, um, okay, let's try and have our, um, okay, let's try and, let's even run the code at this point. So if I run the code, you see that nothing actually happens, okay? Because there's no way we're calling any function here. So if I come down here, like we are already know, and I do my best drink and I say, water okay and i go ahead to run it you see that my best drink is water all right but now let's clear uh delete this line and define another function main here all right let's do main and inside of main let's go ahead and import uh, and call in my best drink okay and let's do water water all right and let's also call my okay let's go to script one and check uh function for best food okay let's come here and say function function for best food is that we can actually access it okay we're going there to dip our hands in script one to just pick one function from there so let's go ahead and do rice all right we can okay we did rice in the other one let's go ahead and actually do uh let's say pizza all right pizza that way and uh, um let's now come down here you see that the other part the other time we did rice here right we did rice here yes so let's do pizza like meaning we are we just want to pick this guy and use it there okay we do pizza so let's drop our if statement if dumb dumb name equal to uh um the, the um, main all right that is if if the name of the code like if what is supposed to be executed is main all right 
we'll now go ahead and drop main here all right that way so let's go ahead and run it run is it my best drink is water my best food is pizza you see what i'm saying so actually when we run this very one okay uh, run this very one let me take it back to script one and run okay you see that my best food is rice goodbye we supply rice for our best food here all right but since what we got from here it just this function that's what we imported into script two all right so and we we can supply any other any other um argument to to the parameter okay and here we supply pizza okay and we actually also call down um my best drink function into the main and that's why when we run let's change it uh script to uh script to configuration all right when i run you see my best drink is water my best food is pizza that's what we that's the argument we supplied to the parameter here all right so like i said this very if statement actually showed us what part of the code our we want our pro, uh, program to run okay now we want to actually run we sell we run just this main all right just this main and that's why you see that we are having this very one so if we take this main away and we actually want to run return all the functions everything will come up but right now we want to control what we can run which is main so anything we want to be we want the, our code to execute we actually drop them in our main uh, function all right and thus that will be executed all right and that's what we have in this kind of, a, of output all right so basically that's it and um, this is very important as you'll be coming across it uh, in a lot of programs okay a lot of codes that you may you may you may come across okay you actually see them being used a lot okay uh, software engineers will always use this very if statement okay so anytime you see it don't be confused just know what they are trying to do in their codes okay thank you very much and um, i will see you in the next class bye for now